Welcome everybody to another Yoga with Emma at home practice. Welcome to our Patreon community. It's lovely to have you all here practicing together. I hope you enjoy our sequence today and our theme of nurturing our roots and taking care of ourselves and moving with that loving attention to our own needs. And that's what nurturing our roots is all about, this idea of letting go of what no longer serves us and creating space to move the body to feel open and nurtured. Um, so it's going to be a gentle flow today, hopefully an opening and releasing flow um, whilst making us feel quite grounded and connected to our roots. So we're going to come to a standing position, um, feet about hip width apart, gentle bend the knees as we lift up through the legs, draw the belly in, so we've got this nice, soft, but active engagement through the middle of the body, hands down by our side, and we're just going to drop the chin slightly, close the eyes, just standing in mountain posture, really feeling our feet, connecting to those foundations, feeling strong and stable. I'm going to take three deep breaths here. We're going to inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale twice more. Inhale. And let go. Inhale. Exhale and release. This time, inhale, reach the arms up. Big stretch. And take hold of the left wrist and begin to stretch yourself over towards the right side, gently pulling on the left wrist. And then we're going to step the left foot behind us, gently bend into that standing leg and take a lovely side stretch through the hip here. Opening and releasing through the rib cage, feeling that lovely stretch. Inhale, reaches you taller. Exhale, we stretch a bit deeper. Remembering to breathe, coming back to that grounding breath as we inhale, reach, set the foot back. Exhale, take hold of the right wrist, stretch over to the left side this time, gently pulling on the wrist as we open the armpit, and then step the right foot back, gentle bend in that standing leg, really opening through the side body here, lovely. And as we move through our practice today, where can you nurture? your own needs? Where can you take care of yourself? Is there anything that's been neglecting? So move through your practice with that intention of nurturing your roots today, of nurturing your own needs. Inhale to reach, so no pushing ourselves if that's not what we need. Exhale, bring the hands down. Coming to stand at the top of your mat. Again, keeping that gentle bend in the knees. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, spill over the legs, bend in the knees, forward fold, release the hands, release the neck. Inhale, lifts us up halfway. And exhale, we release back down. Inhale, lifts us up halfway, catch that wave, hands to the thighs, exhale, release. One more time, inhale to reach up halfway, exhale, release. And then reach all the way up. Coming back to standing. And exhale, bring the hands down through centre. Just press the thumbs against the sternum and Anjali Mudra, hands pressed together. And come back to an intention. I will nurture my roots. I look after my own needs and I take care of myself. I will nurture my roots. I will take care of my own needs look after myself. I will nurture my roots. I will take care of my own needs and look after myself. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, spill over the legs. We're going to move through a gentle flow. Inhale, lift up halfway, hands to shins or thighs. Exhale, release. Step back to plank. Just gently lower the hips. Drop the knees all the way to the belly. Inhale, lift you up halfway to a cobra, squeeze the glutes, exhale, release. Tuck the toes, push up through child's, and then lift the hips up, 
Walk the toes in if you need to. Come high up onto the toes. Bend the knees. Spread the shoulders across the back. Press into the hands. Lift the hips. And then look forward. Walk yourself to a forward fold. Inhale, lift you up halfway. And exhale, release. We're going to step back to plank again. Drop the knees, hips lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, lift you up halfway. Exhale, we release all the way right down. Tuck the toes, push up through child. Just take a little rest here. And then come up through all fours, tuck the toes. Exhale as we push ourselves up to downward facing dog. Again, gentle bend in the knees. It's not about getting the heels to the ground, but it's about lengthening the back body, opening the shoulders, pushing away with the hands. And then gaze forward, walk again all the way up to a forward fold. Hang heavy here. Maybe just rock a little bit side to side with your exhale. Just begin to let go of what you no longer need. And then roll all the way up with a big inhale. Reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, bring the hands down to the center. Then back down to the side, just to stand here in our mountain posture. Connect back to those roots. Take one breath here. And exhale, release the breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold all the way back down again. And inhale, lifts us up halfway. Exhale, release. Tap the right leg back, drop the knee down, press into the big foot as you lift the chest up, inhale, reach the arms, come a little bit out of the hips so we're not so much sinking down but lifting up, raise the arms, exhale, frame that front foot, lift the back leg, step back to plank, drop the knees all the way down to the belly, inhale through to cobra, shoulders back, exhale, release. Tuck the toes, lift the kneecaps and see if you can push yourself up to plank maybe and then lift up downward facing dog. If not, just move through child's and come to downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right leg forward, drop the left knee down. Inhale, coming up to that low lunge, reach the arms. Exhale, we just lift up out of the hips a little bit. And then exhale, release. Step back to plank, lower the knees all the way down to the belly. Inhale to cobra, and then exhale, release. Tuck the toes, see if you can lift up to plank or push yourself to child's pose, and then lift up downward facing dog. Just shake the hips out a little bit, nod the head, yes, no. And then inhale, step the left foot forward this time, drop the right knee down. Inhale, come all the way up. Low lunge. Exhale, bring the hands down through center. Drop the right hand down to the ground. Twist open to the left and then reach the left fingertips up. Lovely. Exhale, release the hand down. Step back to plank. This time just lift up child's pose. Exhale, soften, push the chest back, lift the hips high. Inhale, look forward, right foot forward this time. Drop the left knee down, inhale, reach up. Lovely. Exhale, bring the left hand down to the ground as you twist open to the right, lifting the right fingertips up to the ceiling, twisting, releasing, opening up here. Letting go of anything we don't need so we can allow what we do need to come back into our focus and attention. Exhale, release it down. Lift the back leg, step back to plank. This time drop the knees down, tuck the toes, push back. Come to rest on the sitting bones first and then maybe come down to the forearms. Drop the forehead down, child's pose. Feel the back body expand here, breathing into the rib cage. Feel those hips open, surrender to the heaviness of your head and the shoulders. Just let go here, come back to the ground. Allow yourself to feel nurtured and supported here in this child's pose. 
Exhale, soften. From your child's pose, just begin to lift yourself up through to all fours. Bring the knees underneath the hip points wrists under the shoulders, inhale, drop the belly down as we come through to cow posture, inhale, exhale, rounding through the tops of the back, the shoulders pushing away, draw the belly in, exhale, inhale, round forward, tucking the um, tailbone up, exhale, releasing, exhale, push the shoulders away, one more time, inhale, and exhale, rounding through. Really coming back to what feels good in the body, nurturing our own needs, taking care of ourselves. Begin to walk the hands out in front of you. We're gonna to come to melting heart posture. So maybe you come down onto the forearms, keep the hips over the knees. Maybe this is enough for you and you bring the forehead down and this is where you stay. Draw the belly in, but allow the shoulders to begin to soften and relax down the back as you open up through the armpits. Maybe you've got more space as you exhale, deepening a little bit more, bringing the chin down to the ground, but take it at your own pace. Don't push yourself, nurture where you're at, what are your needs right now? Maybe it's just to rest the forehead down and just to start softening through the upper back. We don't need to go to the furthest point, but we can work our way towards it. The journey is almost just as important as the final step. And just hold here for two breaths. Inhaling. Exhale, release. Maybe out through the mouth. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Feel that heart just opening up. And then slowly drawing ourselves back up, coming onto our hands and our knees. And we're just gonna tuck the toes, we're gonna sit back towards our heels, lift up, downward facing dog. Exhale, release. Begin to walk yourself out to a plank, so shifting the toes back, dropping the hips level, holding here, and just rock a little bit side to side, ground down through the feet. And then exhale, drop the knees all the way down through to the belly. Inhale to cobra, squeeze the glutes, lift up a little bit, just a little bit. Exhale, release. Tuck the toes, lift the kneecaps, you've got this. Push yourself up to plank and then lift up downward facing dog. Exhale, drop the knees down, untuck the toes and come to sit back. So we're gonna move through a mini camel flow um, today, opening up the heart, just really gently, allowing this space to feel free and open so we can tune in a little bit more to what's, what's most important to us rather than closing everything off. Let's nurture what we really need to take care of today. So coming into the middle of your mat, we're gonna start with baby camel. So sitting back on your heels, take the hands behind you, underneath the shoulders, draw the shoulders down and together across the back. So you're opening through the front here and then begin to shift the hips up, drawing the belly in, squeezing the glutes, lifting up here and keep the chin to the chest if this is enough or you can just gently begin to open up the throat, but take it as far as you need. Hold here, one breath. Exhale, soften back down. Great job, come all the way back up. Take a twist left and right. Left and right. If that is enough for you, continue with baby camel or coming up onto your shins. Feet just a little bit um, wider than, than hips. Tuck the toes. Bring your left hand down to your heel, sit back here. And then as you inhale, push the hips forward and reach the right arm back. Lovely. Really squeeze the glutes here. Draw the shoulders down and together as if you're squeezing a pencil. Lift up through the upper back. Exhale, bring it all the way back down. Take the right hand to the ankle this time. And as you inhale, push the hips forward. Lift up through the upper back, drawing the left hand behind you opening the chest here, really engage the shoulders and the upper back, squeeze the glutes, draw the belly in, 
Remember to breathe and exhale, bring it all the way back down. Lovely. And just take a moment here, sit back on the heels, bring the palms onto the lap, palms facing up. Just reset here. We've opened up and now we're just going to let everything settle. Just three breaths here. Coming back to this idea of nurturing, taking our time, not rushing. It can be so easy to rush through everything, but sometimes the slower, more steady, more thoughtful pace is what is needed. Especially in these very, very fast moving and sometimes uncertain times. And especially as we come through to the transitional season of autumn, it's all about taking that time to reground, recenter, so that when we come through to winter and spring, we're ready to enter back out into the world. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale, soften. Lovely. We're going to come shift onto our bottoms now, taking the soles of the feet together. You can have them, for depending on the intensity of the stretch, you can have the feet closer to your sitting bones or you can have them further apart. I have mine not too close and then I just pull the fleshy parts of my bottom away so I feel really connected to the ground here. Great job everybody. And then what we do is we take hold of the feet and just give your foundations, your roots, your feet a little bit of love here. Work through into the toes. It's all about nurturing today. Enjoying that little bit of self-love and really get into the soles, the arches, the heels, the ankles. Lovely. Get really comfortable with touching your feet, of giving them some love. They do so much for us. And then take hold of the feet. Inhale, lift up through the chest. Engage the abdominal wall, drop the shoulders down, and begin to just draw your chest forward. Maybe the forearms rest on the inner calves, and we begin to just gently apply some pressure through the elbows, drop the chin slightly, and maybe this is enough for you here. Just gently working into the hips, nurturing those deeper parts of our body, opening up a little bit more and releasing. Maybe you can walk the arms a little bit further forward as you fold a little bit deeper, but don't go past your edge. Don't push yourself too far. It's not about getting the head to the toes today. It's about opening and stretching into the hips. So focus your energy and attention to this space here. Great job, everyone. And again, just use the exhale to soften, to open, to release. Allow the feet to be relaxed. And say to yourself, I let go of, and then notice what comes up. I let go of judging and comparing myself to others. I let go of fear of trying new things. I let go of trying to please everybody else. Whatever it is, I let go of. Just repeat that to yourself a few times here. And then exhale, slowly roll yourself up. Take the hands to the outside of the knees, draw the knees up and take yourself through to the middle of the mat and begin to roll yourself all the way down here. Big stretch through the body, arms all the way overhead, feet all oh, really rolling the ankles, stretching the arms, and then we're going to bring the hands down by the side, feet up to the ground, knees pointing up. And we're going to move through some bridge flows here to open up the front of the body. So pressing into the feet, press into the hands, draw the belly down to the ground so you can not, so you've got that nice, tight, flush feeling of the back against the mat. And we inhale, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips up. And as you inhale, reach the arms overhead. And exhale, lower all the way back down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, all the way back down. Inhale, reach up. 
Hold here, arms overhead, lift the hips high, squeeze the glutes, press into the feet so you're using your foundations. Open up and exhale, lower it all the way back down. Take the arms wide, just rock the knees side to side, just neutralizing the spine. Lovely. And then bring the knees up, walk the feet together, and then open the knees out wide as you take the soles of the feet together. Take the arms overhead, reclined butterfly here, and just set and allow the back to naturally arch and curve. So you've got that space between your back and the mat. Feet relaxed, and then let go. Notice if you're holding on any tension here. Completely surrender your body to the mat and let go. Exhale, release. Maybe you soften the eye, soften the face, or you're just looking up, feeling very peaceful and calm here. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Letting go, coming back to yourself. Take the hands to the outer thighs, draw the knees up, draw them into the chest, give yourself a squeeze, roll the nose up to the knees, big ball here, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then gently rolling over to one side, pushing yourself up to seated. Coming to a cross leg, and we're going to finish in Sukhasana today. Bringing the hands onto the knees. Take an inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Raise one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. And coming back to that affirmation, that mantra, I will nurture my roots. I will take care of my own needs and I look after myself. I will nurture my roots. I will take care of my own needs and look after myself. I will nurture my roots. I will take care of my own needs and I look after myself. Take a moment when your practice is finished to maybe jot some things down. What do you need to nurture right now? What do you need to take care of? And just write those things down so you can come back to it and See if you're aligning with what you need in your life. Thank you so much for practicing. It was lovely to have you today. Be sure to check out our other videos for this month's um, membership, all about nurturing our roots. Please leave comments, chat with the community, and we'll see each other again next time. Lots of love. Take care.